Well, this week has seen absolute devastation in the lives of many people, families, households, small business people. Mostly in rural Ireland, although not uh, entirely so. And that is, of course, the issue of flooding. Now, this would be hard enough to contend with. But for some people, this happens again and again and again. You know, we could argue about climate justice and about the government's failure to meet the targets that have been set and the way that the Taoiseach faces two ways at the one time on, on this issue. But what people need is urgent action. If the steps that were required had been put in place after the last severe floods, then a lot of this damage would have been minimised. So what Sinn Féin is calling for, and we're very, very clear about this, is for the government to put in place a not-for-profit insurance scheme. Because the big difficulty is that many of these folks just can't get insurance for their business or for their homes. And as they face into Christmas, as I've said at the beginning, they're just devastated by what has occurred. The second thing is there needs to be action taken, re re remedial action taken, to, to prevent the flooding. It's, it's all uh, doable if there was a political will to do it. You know, and interestingly enough, I don't know about these particular areas, but I know about some of the other areas. Some of the devastation was caused because of bad planning decisions, where marshlands and indeed floodplains had concrete and tarmac heaped upon them. Uh, and nature, water couldn't have its, uh, have its natural outlet. And we saw a, a really nice piece, good piece, commendable piece of telejournalism with the RTE programme where they, they looked at uh, the type of standards that some local representatives employ. Now, it's been my experience that the vast majority of public representatives are not engaged in that type of activity. But of course, there will be a popular response that all politicians are the same. And you can't really blame people if there's no serious effort to root out corruption. And corruption needs rooted out. This government is coming to the end of its term. Five years later, it hasn't introduced uh, some of the main recommendations of the Mahan. Uh, commission, the Mahan Tribunal. In fact, the first act of Phil Hogan, a government minister of the day, was to scrap inquiries into a number of uh, local authorities. And Labour weren't much better. Instead of when they took over that responsibility after the Taoiseach promoted Phil Hogan, the Labour minister, John O'Sullivan, reduced the inquiries to reviews. And then subsequently we were promised those reviews would be published, the findings would be published in June of this year. No sight of it. When Sinn Féin brought forward a private member's motion to put in place an independent uh, regulator, the government voted against it, voted it down. And I challenged the Taoiseach earlier this week because Brian Stanley, our environment spokesperson, has prepared a piece of legislation and we're looking space in the, the schedule of the Dáil and we're looking for government support for it. Because that's how you tackle this. You make it unlawful, and you make sure that there are sanctions, but you make sure particularly that there is proper independent regulation. The government's proposals do not come anywhere near independent regulation. So there you are, that's, that's the, uh, you know, as we face into the weekend, none of this will be of great comfort to people who are in absolute misery and particularly some people who have to live on their own and don't have the support of neighbours. But let me commend the, 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 the spirit of the Mehel, which is still alive and well. The, the way that communities, uh, the way that the, the services, public services, defence forces, uh, civil defence, all of that uh, all came together to try and help and to try and uh, take action to, to, to minimise 
the, the damage that was done is exemplary. So well done to you all.